What is up guys, GameServiceOuts.com here. Today I'm going to show you how you download and install Essentials. And while doing that, I will also show you how to use Group Manager as a permission uh, plugin. I'll also show you how you create different groups, etc. First off, you want to download all of these. The extras, though, can be excluded. I do like to have that, though. Open it. Click on the Download. Open it's just fine. You want to download the extras too. Download that. And the group manager. Okay, now we have these zip files here. Open up your Minecraft uh, plugins folder. If this is on a, um, a separate server, you want to connect uh, to it using FTP. Select the files and drag it onto the FTP or into the plugin folder here. Do the same thing with all the files. Shh. Oh, just close these windows. Then you want to go to your start.bat or to your control panel and start up the server. It's then going to create all our uh, our configs etc here. Alright then, should be good now. Go to group manager go to your worlds click on worlds and then right click on the groups and open it with your favorite editor and here is all your lovely groups here's your builder for example and your default the default one is the one that basic players like guests um, connect to um, we wanna maybe call them uh, guests that we added here in brackets and then a the space. The space will be shown so that the name is going to have a space between the actual rank. The same goes for builder. We can add a little builder tag here. And that's pretty much how you do the prefixes. Um, if you want to add in extra permissions, there's a lovely example on how to do that right here. Though, doing these two here is gonna disable the command because one of these is gonna allow them to do this command but since this don't want them to kill themselves they just uh, disable it now if you want to find out the exact file um, permission names and that's your full list on how to do that on the essentials website right here you can see a list of all the available commands if you want to give people the ability to use the forward slash fly command, we just copy the essentials.fly here. Click on the line, and then you want to press enter. And since .yml don't like uh, the tabs like you know normal files do, you want to use spaces. Just one, two, three, four. Make a hyphen, space, and then your command here. That YML always use spaces, no tabs, that will make your file uh, broken. It will break your file. So let's just try and do that with another one. If you want to give people access to the give command, copy the essentials.give. Again, make a new line. Click return. Oh no, sorry backspace remove the, um, the tap and then again four spaces hyphen space and the command this right here is gonna give the default player group um, a um, the command forward slash fly and forward slash give now let's move down to some of the owner commands here actually that's not even needed at all because this right here means that this group have all permissions so you don't really need this the, um, the one right here is saying that we know you're an owner but we really don't want you to vanish so it's disabling all vanish commands using a joker or a star right there um, also if you're trying to do um, heal 
maybe. Actually, yeah, let's do the heal. If you want to people be able to do all uh, commands related to heal, you want to make um, again new line backspace four spaces hyphen space and then the command and then we can make a little star or joker or whatever you want to call it right there and that's that's going to tell the, the file that we want to do to be able to make all commands related to the heal so heal cooldown bypass heal authors etc that's pretty much the basics of the permissions and um, there's also a, um, a global groups of YML in here is um, is like the global commands for every single group as you can see here group manager default bucket default um, what I like to do is pretty much clear up this whole file because I'm not sure what all of these do so either clear out this file or remove it from here and then you can um, just give the players the commands manually um, as you have more control like that of course if you have a lot of basic commands like um, kill MOTD etc you can use these global groups um, to like make a maybe a group manager default and then add it right here Oh yeah, and then add it right here. If you add this to the in to in here, it will make um, make everyone that have that same right there able to use the kill command and notify self. Um, I hope that gave you a pretty idea of uh, of how to do your missions. You can also look a little bit into the config.yml and here is the mirrors. Um, instead of having different user files and groups files for every single world, what this little script tells you um, is that to mirror the settings of the world, as you can see in here, world's world, so that every single world containing this config will be mirrored of these settings so you don't need to have different users in nether and different groups in the nether remember that you can request tutorials on my website using the request tab so yeah thanks for watching